Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to explain inheritance in Python, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Let's talk about inheritance. The term inherit means to receive, derive, or be left with, and we can apply this concept to programming. Classes can inherit something, usually attributes and methods, from another class. These classes can form parent-child relationships, where a child will receive everything that the parent class has, much like you inherit genes from your parents, and classes can have children and give whatever they own to their children. And in today's video, we'll be creating a parent class called Animal, and children of the Animal class will inherit the common attributes and methods that all animals might have. To kick off this video, I think what we'll do is keep all of our classes within the same file, just so that it's easier for us to read and understand. Let's begin by creating a class called animal. So at the top, type class animal. And what are some attributes and methods that all animals should have? Let's say we have a class variable called alive. And we'll set this to true. If you're an animal, you begin by being alive. And what are some methods? How about an eat and sleep method? So let's define those. DEF, eat. What are we going to do when we call this method? Let's print something. Let's print this animal is eating. Let's also create a sleep method, def sleep. What are we gonna do when we call this method? Let's print something as well. This animal is sleeping. And we now have our animal class. Now let's create separate classes for specific types of animals. Let's say a class for rabbit, a fish, and a hawk, so we can make objects of those classes. So let's begin with a rabbit class. Class, rabbit. Now to use inheritance, with the class that you intend to be the child class, after the class name, add a set of parentheses and then pass in the name of the parent class. In this case, it's going to be animal. So we will add that to the parentheses. So now rabbit is the child class and animal is the parent class. So the child class is going to inherit everything that the animal class has. So for the time being, I'm going to type pass. So this rabbit class will have access to a class variable called alive and an eat and sleep method. So let's define a fish and hawk class. And I'm just going to copy what I have here and just change rabbit to fish and then do so again and change rabbit to hawk. This is our family tree. Animal is the parent class and it has three children, a rabbit class, a fish class, and a hawk class. And for the time being, we're just going to write pass as a placeholder. So I bet we can create objects from these classes. So let's do so. Let's say we have an object called rabbit. Rabbit equals rabbit. Let's do the same thing for fish and hawk. All right, we now have three objects, rabbit, fish, and hawk. And let's take a look at their class variables. I bet they have an alive variable. Let's check that. So I would like to print rabbit dot, oh, would you look at that? This rabbit class has a class variable called alive, even though there's nothing within this class. Well, that's because we used inheritance. So each of these three children classes inherit everything from their parents, all of these attributes and methods. I bet they have eat and sleep functions as well. So let's check that. With fish, let's have fish use its eat method and hawk will use its sleep method, hawk.sleep. So the rabbit is alive, the fish is eating, and the hawk is sleeping. Now, even though we have nothing written within each of these specific types of animal classes, all of these animals have access to these attributes and methods because of inheritance. And another benefit of inheritance is that we don't need to keep on copying and pasting this code. For example, let's say we were not using inheritance, so we would not need an animal class. We could write our code this way, where we would just copy and paste everything underneath each of our classes, so what if we need to make a change to one of these methods, as in your boss says, you know what, let's change sleep to slumber, okay? Well, we would have to go to each of these classes and make the change manually. It's not too bad if you have like three classes, but what if you have hundreds? That's gonna take a lot of effort. So wouldn't it be nice if we just list everything that each of these classes has in common, and then have all of these classes inherit from one common class? And then if you need to make any changes, you can do so just within this class. And this change will apply to all of the different child classes. So that's another benefit of inheritance. 
And not only does it make any changes easier, but each class can have their own unique attributes and methods as well, along with the attributes and methods that they inherit from their parents. So for Rabbit, Fish, and Hawk, let's have each of these classes have their own unique method as well. So for Rabbit, let's define a run method. If you're a rabbit, then you can run. So let's print this rabbit is running. And I'm just going to fix some of the spacing here. All right, if you're a fish, then you can swim. DEF, swim, let's print. This fish is swimming. And lastly, we have hawk. If you're a hawk, then you can fly. DEF, fly, let's print. This hawk is flying. Like I said before, not only do these specific types of animals have access to all of the attributes and methods that they inherit from their parents, but they can have their own attributes and methods as well. So let's test some of these methods. So we have our rabbit, fish, and hawk objects. Let's have rabbit use its run method. Fish will use its swim method. And hawk will use its fly method. And here we go. This rabbit is running, this fish is swimming, and this hawk is flying. So in conclusion, classes can have children. The children classes will inherit everything that their parent class has, all of the parent's attributes and methods. But not only that, the children classes can implement their own unique attributes and methods as well. So that is inheritance. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post all of this in the comment section down below. But yeah, that's the basics of inheritance using Python. Hey you, yeah I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.